The Lakers took care of business in their season opener. The Suns are coming off an OT win in theirs. How do we make money off of this Lakers versus Suns matchup with both of them playing on the first leg of back-to-back -back games? I'll dive into it here in just a bit. Got to look on the side and the total. I'm Ronald Cobang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. I'm the number one overall handicapper at wagertalk since September 1st. All access clients are up 90 units. Uh, also the number one client, uh, number one overall handicapper in the month of October as well. Wager Talk currently has a deal going on where you can get a 30-day all-access pass for $249. That's eight, under $8 per day. That includes 5% plays, which I actually have one up already for this weekend in the NFL. I'm 12-2 and two this year on 5% plays. That's an 85.7% hit rate, uh, the best win percentage and ROI at uh, Wager Talk for 5% 5, 5 plays. Also, the number one NFL handicapper this season at Wager Talk, currently on a 16 and 5 run in the NFL. So check out my capper page at wt.buzz backslash rc for deal uh, for those deals. wt.buzz backslash rc. Sorry about that. For the deals uh, and other premium picks and packages, as well as several free plays. You can see it actually scrolling on the bottom down there for easier uh, access. Now let's dive into this matchup between the Suns and the Lakers. Lakers, obviously. Coming off of that solid win over the Wolves in their season opener, I, I did talk about that game on um, Wager Talk today. And, uh, you know, I, I think there was an emphasis on the Lakers really trying to get more three point shoot, uh, three point shots up. They did shoot three, uh, 30 threes, only shot five out of 30. They're still a, uh, a, a uh, inside the paint dominant um, scoring team, right? 72 out of their 110 points were scored in the paint. If you look at the Suns, they allowed the Clippers to score 62 points in the paint in their last game, and that's showing that their interior defense is still a weak spot uh, this season. They didn't do enough in the offseason to really help that because it's something they struggled with last season as well. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting the Lakers to really try and exploit that tonight. The Lakers also did a great job of taking care of the ball in their win uh, over the Wolves and um, the Suns. They really struggled with turnovers in that in that first game. They, they turned the ball over 22 times. Obviously, they did go into OT, but um, that, that's something that they're going to really need to work on. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with continuity and chemistry, right? I think um, one of the other fa uh, factors that favor for the Lakers is that continuity and chemistry. I know they got a new coach, but these players are really familiar with each other. I don't think there's a big, uh, big, um, sorry, a ball dominant player that, that has come into the rotation that kind of messes anything up. I, I think they really... Um, have that going for them early on in the season. Obviously, look at the Sun side. They do have a new point guard. The interesting thing is he didn't turn the ball over at all uh, in that first game. It was everybody else. Everybody everybody but him had turnovers. Um, uh, but like I said, a new point guard in the fold, uh, still trying to find their rhythm. The Suns might take a couple games more to, to, get, that, uh, to get them gelling. Uh, I did mention earlier the Suns are coming off of that OT game. Key players had heavy minutes, especially KD. He had 43 because uh, – uh, um, Booker actually fouled out that game. Uh, I think that, you know, obviously I, I also mentioned earlier in the, uh, in the video, both teams on the first leg of back-to-back -back games, I feel like the Lakers are actually in a better spot because they stay home. Uh, they, they stay home tomorrow. They, their first game was at home. They start the season off with three straight home games. The Suns, uh, obviously they stayed in LA cause they played the Clippers. Um, but they they do have to take a small travel, uh, travel spot to uh, back home tomorrow. Uh, obviously, not a long travel spot, like I said. It's just an extra situational edge that kind of points towards the Lakers here. Um, I also, you know, obviously the, off the back-to-back, -back, the Suns coming off of OT. Uh, to me, I think that that fatigue is going to come into play, and they're going to play a slower pace. The Lakers already play a slow pace. Um, and also both teams, I think, uh, I think this season both teams are pretty strong defensively. Um, so I, I think we can see both offenses really – uh, uh, the offensive efficiencies drop a bit for both teams here. Um, more for the Suns than the, the Lakers, obviously, with, with the, the impact of tired legs. If you look at the Lakers' recent performance, I mentioned how they shot 30, uh, 30 three-pointers. They only made five. Uh, they're still not a good three-point shooting team. Um, and the Suns, they are a really good uh, perimeter defense. They only held uh, they held the Clippers to eight out of twenty nine from three. So I'm not sure the Lakers are going to be able to to really um, step it up from the three point range. But uh, in, in this matchup specifically, but I'm not sure that they're going to need to, especially if they could uh, score so efficiently in the paint, get to the free throw line a ton. Um, uh, in this matchup specifically, I, I do think that the Lakers will eventually 
become a better three point shooting team. I just not I'm not sure about this matchup here. Uh, I think that the the Lakers' ability to to dominate in the paint, the Suns still with some chemistry issues and the whole travel situation um, and back to backs. I, I think a lot of things for me are pointing towards the Lakers tonight. And from a total perspective, um, uh, both teams playing in front and the back to backs. Both teams potentially playing a slower pace. Uh, manage minutes because of the back-to-back as well for the starters. I would lean towards the under uh, for the total. So uh, those are my two looks for this game here. What are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Make sure you leave a comment. I'd love to hear your angles. Uh, Also, if you enjoyed the breakdown, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that notification button as well so you don't miss another breakdown from any other Wager Talk handicappers. Uh, Once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc for free and premium picks and packages i do have a five percent play up also take advantage of that incredible deal that they got going on right now for that 30-day all access pass uh also for all your personal betting needs head over to themoneyballer.com that was also scrolling down there on the bottom right now um they have all the stats trends and insights you need to make informed betting decisions uh you could take you could use promo code rc50 to get 50 percent off your first billing cycle TheMoneyBaller.com is my main source for handicapping game. It's a reason why I've had success in the NFL, WNBA, and uh, hopefully the NBA this season. So check it out, TheMoneyBaller.com. Also, end of the video, guys. Whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your action. Till next time, peace.